everyone this video we're going to have a little conversation about wolf bram syndrome last week i saw a patient a 15 year old boy with optic nerve pallor on both eyes as you may see in this fundus image here The child uh, started with diabetes about five years ago and also had some neurologic symptoms. So the topic of this lecture, we're going to talk about Wolfram syndrome. This entity is characterized by these main findings. Diabetes. Diabetes insipitus. Optic nerve atrophy. Sensory neural hearing loss. And finally, several types of neurodegeneration. We're going to discuss some of the key features of Wolfram syndrome in this short lecture. Usually, patients around six or seven years old start with diabetes. Next, between 10 and 15, patients usually develop the optic neuropathy. And then, about two-thirds of the patients, they have one of these changes here, diabetes insipitus, sensory neural, neural hearing loss, and neurodegeneration, about two-thirds of the patients. There are other less common clinical manifestations I'm going to list here to you. Psychiatric syndromes, urinary tract dysfunction, or obstruction, and in stage of the disease, because of neurologic manifestations, patients may develop uh, respiratory insufficiencies. Pathogenesis of the disease is very interesting. It was thought to be a mitochondrial disease, but Wolfram syndrome is basically endoplastic, endoplasmatic reticulum disease. What happens is, there is a mutation or a dysfunction 
in a gene called WSF1 that produces a protein called wolframin. And it is thought that uh, the pancreas and the axons or the neurons have a high metabolic state and they are very sensible to endoplasmatic reticulum dysfunction. As you may know, endoplasmic reticulum dis uh, structure is responsible for several activities like protein synthesis, steroid synthesis, calcium regulation, cell death or cell uh, apoptosis and survival, among other types of cellular activities. As we commented, the most common optic nerve finding is pallor or atrophy, which occurs in most of the patients with the complete disease of Wolfram syndrome. The differential diagnosis of Wolfram syndrome is uh, optic neuropathy that occurs at an early age, like Friedrich, Ataxia, Bartet, Beetle syndrome, or Astrum syndrome. Wolfram uh, syndrome is a very rare disease affecting more or less one every 500,000 people. That's the prevalence of the disease. The management is mainly supportive. Unfortunately, many of these patients uh, pass away at an earlier uh, phase in life, around 30 or 40 or 50 years old, because of the neurologic and uh, respiratory dysfunction. Any drug that may improve the activity of the endoplasmic reticulum may benefit these patients. And uh, one of these categories of the drugs, it is called chemical chaperones. Dantolane also works in the endoplasmic reticulum. And also there is a drug called IDB known has been tested in a few clinical series of patients with Wolfram syndrome and may uh, benefit these patients. So I introduce to you in this 